my channel in today's video we are going to be making this crochet face mask if you want to see how I made this stay tuned and we will get right to it okay so for this project I am using a five millimeter crochet hook some yarn and stitch markers probably only need one but to begin, we will start with a chain of 16 stitches. You're going to start with your loop. And then you're going to do 16 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 14, 15, 16. So you're going to skip the first stitch, the first um, chain from the hook, and into the second one, you're going to do one single crochet. Now, one single crochet in each chain space all the way across to the end. So go ahead and complete one single crochet in each stitch all the way across, and I will meet you. At the end of this first round. All right, so I have come to the end of the first round. So to begin the next round, you are going to chain one, turn the work around, and you are going to do seven single crochet across. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Into the next stitch, which would be the eighth space, we're going to work three single crochets all in that same space. So this one, two, and three, all the way, all this, all into that same space. And then, so you have three. In the second stitch, which is the middle stitch, is where you're going to put your stitch marker. So you put your stitch marker in the second. So there's three in here, put it in the second one. And then we continue. So now you're going to work seven stitches on the other side of our increase. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one in the last stitch for our seventh. Now you're going to chain one and turn the work around to begin the next row. So there won't be an increase in row three. So in this row, one, two, three. So in this row, we're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we have our increase here, which is three. So we're going to go into the first one, one, into the second one where our stitch marker is. Then you move your stitch marker. Finish that second one. Put back your stitch marker right there, because that's the center stitch in our increase. And continue to the next stitch. And then we'll work our seven over here. I hope that was not confusing for anyone. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what it was is you work seven, then the three, which gives you ten, and then seven more. 
So if you did your moved your stitch marker up and you did eight, that's fine. Because there's three right here. And we put the stitch marker in the center one, which would be the second one of the three. All right, so for the next round, it's going to be another increase round. So you're going to chain one, turn your work around. And I think this is about row five or row four. Okay, so we're going to go across single crochet in the next eight stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, five. seven and eight all right and we get up to the center stitch where our stitch marker is you're gonna put three stitches in that round in that um in that single crochet stitch so it's one two and three and then you're gonna move your stitch marker you have three stitches there you're gonna put your stitch marker in the center stitch so this is one this is two and this is three put it through the center stitch and then continue your eight eight single crochets to complete this row one two three four five six seven and eight and since we increased on this round the next round will have no increase so you're gonna chain one turn the work around one single crochet in each stitch all the way across so all the way across Okay, so that is nine stitches so far, which will take you up to the middle one, which is the tenth stitch. I'm gonna move up your stitch marker into that tenth stitch, and then you will have nine stitches on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the next round is going to be our increase round. So chain one, turn the work around, and you will do a total of nine stitches Just one two three four five six seven eight and nine and in the tenth space is when is where you're gonna put your three single crochet for the increase so go ahead and move your stitch marker and in space number 10 you're gonna put three single crochet one two and three find the center one you have one two and three so the center one which is number two is where you put your stitch marker and then you will do your nine stitches on the other side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain one, turn the work around. And our next row will just be a row of 
single crochet all the way across. So go ahead and do the next row and I will meet you at the end of that round. All right, so I have completed my row of single crochet. And for the next round, I'm gonna chain one, turn the work around, and I'm gonna do a total of 10 single crochets all the way up to my stitch marker. So that's two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Where my stitch marker is, I'm going to put three single crochet all in that space. So that's one, two, and three. And I'll put my stitch marker in the center one of the three and continue. 10 single crochet to the end. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now chain one, and the next row is single crochet all the way across and don't forget when you get to the center you move your move your stitch marker up so go ahead and complete this row of single crochet and I'll meet you at the end of that round. Alright so I finished my row of one single crochet and now for our next increase round which is pretty much the same chain one same as we've been doing before so now we're gonna do a total of 11 stitches up to our stitch marker one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and into the stitch marker stitch, we are gonna work three single crochet. One, two, and three, all in that same space. Put our stitch marker in the second of the three stitches, so the middle one right there. And then 11 stitches on the other side to complete this row. That's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And for the next round, you get it, just one single crochet in every stitch all the way across and don't forget to move your stitch marker up one row when you get to it so go ahead and complete this row of single crochet and i will meet you for our last increase round all right so for the next round it's pretty much the same chain one turn the work around and you're gonna work 12 stitches up to the stitch marker. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and into the 13th stitch you're gonna work three single crochet all in that space one two and three and now you're gonna put your stitch marker into the center of the three stitches the middle one and then work 12 stitches on the other side to complete this round one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we have completed all our increase rounds. So now we are going to work five rows of just single crochet. So one row single crochet all the way across, another row five times. So no increases, just five rows of single crochet. So go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of those five rows. Okay, so I have finished my additional five rounds and I kept moving my stitch marker up to, you know, mark where my center was. But if you lost count, that's okay. Each of these five rows across, you should have 27 stitches. So to find the center, all you gotta do is count up, count up to 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's where your stitch marker should be. And then you have 13 stitches on this side. So 13 on this side, 1 in the center, 13 on this side. And we will go from here. So from here on now we are going to be decreasing. So to start the next round we're going to chain 1, turn the work around, and you are going to work 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. So our stitch marker is in number 14. So you're going to put your needle into the 13th stitch, hook the yarn, pull through, and pull up. You're going to go through the 14th stitch, take out your stitch marker, hook the yarn, pull through, and pull up, and go through the 15th stitch, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. Now you're going to hook the yarn and pull through all four loops and that's how you, you're you going to be decreasing. So you're um, stitching three stitches together and then you're going to go ahead and complete your 12 stitches on the other side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You can put your stitch marker back if you don't want to lose your place. So you find the center where you did your decrease, it's right here, and you'll put your stitch marker there. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Alright, so for the next round, you chain one, turn the work around, and this row is going to be a row of just single crochet all the way across. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Chain one. And this row is now going to be a decreasing row. So before we did 12, now we're going to do 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you're going to go through the twelve, the thirteenth, and the fourteenth, and you can stitch those all together. And then you're going to do your 11 stitches on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Chain one, turn your work around, and this row is going to be a row of single crochet. So go ahead and do your row of single crochet, and I will meet you at the All end right, of this so round. So we're about to begin our next decrease round. So chain one. Last time we decreased, we had 11, so now we are going to work 10 stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to go through the eleventh. Pull through and pull up, go through the 12th, pull through and pull up, go through the 13th, pull through and pull up, then pull all three stitches, complete all three stitches into one, or pull through all four loops to complete that stitch, and then 10 stitches on the other side to complete this round. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the next round is going to be a round of single crochet. And then the other row after that, you're going to do nine stitches, then your decrease, nine stitches on the other side, one row of single crochet. 8 stitches, your decrease, and then 8 stitches on the other side. And you're going to keep going. I think there's only one more row after the 8. When you have just 15 stitches total across, I will meet you at that point. So keep going, do your decrease, then one single crochet row, decrease, one single crochet, decrease, one single crochet row, and I'll meet you there. So I think after the 8, then the decrease, then 8 again, then the row of single crochet, we should have 15 stitches left. So go ahead and complete those rounds, and I will meet you there. So right here, we, are, we just finished the decrease, so the next row after this will be a row of single crochet. So go ahead, and I will meet you at the end. Alright, so this is my last decrease round, so I'm going to chain 1 turn my work around and I'm going to work seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
And then I'm gonna decrease in the center here. So there's one, pull through and pull up, go through the next one, pull through and pull up, go through the third one, pull through and pull up, hook the yarn, pull through all four loops on the hook to complete that stitch, and then seven stitches on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. Chain one, turn the work around, and one row up. Single crochet, which should total a t 15 stitches all the way across. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and ugh, fifteen. And that completes whatever this is. <laughs> All right, so to finish up this round, you are going to chain one and you will do a single crochet in each stitch all along this side right here. So just one single crochet to straighten up the edges. So all the way down the side one single crochet in each space. So go ahead and complete that one single crochet all the way, all the way down the edge until you get to the bottom. All right, so I'm coming up to the last space here. I am just going to slip stitch on the edge right there to complete this row of single crochets. Now I'm gonna chain 20. This 20 is gonna be my handles or straps or whatever you call it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I will slip stitch to join on the opposite side right there. You can make your straps longer. I want mine snug. You can do anywhere between 20 and 30 stitches depending on how loose you want yours. But I want mine very snug so I'll do 20. I'll slip stitch to join. And I will do one single crochet in each space along this side until I get up to this point. So go ahead and do one single crochet in each in each space on this side, and I'll meet you when we get to this point. All right, so I am coming up to my very last space on the edge here. So what I'm going to do is slip stitch right on the edge right there to complete that round. And now I'm gonna do my 20 chains for my handles. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Whoops. Twenty. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the opposite side to join. And I will slip stitch again to secure. And pull up my tail. And that 
that completes. And that completes my mask. All right, so that is the crochet portion of this mask. The final step is to weave in all your ends, sewing a liner into your face mask. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.